So in this video, we're going to show a sample proof of the distributive property of scalar multiplication over vector addition. So that's this, uh, this property here, scalar multiplication over vector addition. So the claim is that the scalar times the sum of two vectors is the same as the sum of the two scaled vectors. So just like we did before, you start off by looking at what uh, what elements you need to do the proof. I need a scalar and two vectors. So start off by creating those. Let C be a scalar, which just means it needs to be a real number. And we need two vectors U and V in the vector space Rn. And then we do a transition phrase. So we say something like now note that and then we establish the left hand side so the scalar times the sum of the two vectors equals and because these are vectors in Rn we claim that they're vectors in Rn we know that they each have n components so we can rewrite this as c times the vector uh, u, which can be written in component form as u sub 1, comma, dot, 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 comma, u sub n, plus our vector v, which can be written as an n, in an n co in component form as with n components, so it would be v sub 1, comma, dot, 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 all the way through v sub n, so write it in component form. And this is just the sum of two vectors, which we know how to do. So we get C times the sum of the two vectors inside the parentheses. It's doing the parentheses first, U sub 1 plus V sub 1 comma, walk through the whole vector doing component wise addition all the way through the nth component, U sub n plus V sub n. And now this is just scalar multiplication of a vector or a scaled vector. So we know that we are able to just distribute the C into the components. So distributing the C into the first component looks like this, comma, do it to every component in the vector, distribute the C into all of them, that's what the dot 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 means, all the way through the nth component. And the parentheses here are necessary. It's C times the component, and the component has, happens to be uh, built from two pieces, so we need the grouping in this step. I would get marked down without the grouping in the step. And then here we recognize that each component is just a real number. U sub 1 is just a real number. V sub 1 is just a real number. This is just the distributive property of real number multiplication over real number addition. So we know, uh, we know that distributive property. So we use it. So C times U sub 1 plus C times V sub 1 comma do it to all of the components in the vector all the way until you get to the last or nth component c times v sub n and then you look at this and you say hey this is just the sum of two vectors this is what i would get if i added this vector c times u sub one comma dot 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 all the way through c sub uh, c times u sub n plus the vector that will look like this, C times V sub 1 plus dot dot, not plus, comma, dot dot dot, comma, C times V sub N. And because the C is multiplied to every component, we can use the definition of scalar multiplication of a vector to factor that C out front, C times the vector U sub 1, comma, dot dot dot, comma, U sub N plus factor, the C shows up on every component in here, so we can factor it out. We get V sub one comma dot 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 comma all the way through V sub N. And this is just C, this is just equal to C times the vector U plus C times the vector V, which is what we needed to show. We needed to show that this was equivalent to this. So, I can say which is what we needed to show or as desired, something to wrap up the proof and give it a little tombstone. I, it's, a, it's a horrible tombstone.
but I'm not going to apologize for it. 